falling, is falling, is falling. Mercy, it falls like the sweet spring rain. Mercy, it's falling, is falling all over me. La 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 Hey yo, I receive your mercy. Hey yo, I receive your Like the sweet spring rain, mercy is falling, is falling all over me. Hey, yo, I receive your mercy. Hey, yo, I receive your grace. Hey, yo, I will dance forevermore. Mercy is falling, is falling, is falling. Mercy, it falls like the sweet spring rain. Mercy is falling, is falling all over me. All over me. All over me. All over me. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. My brothers and sisters in Christ, at the beginning of this Mass, let us prepare our hearts to meet the author of salvation who comes to bring us hope. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son. But may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. Take off the garment of your sorrow and afflictions, O Jerusalem, and put on forever the beauty of the glory from God. Put on the robe of righteousness that comes from God. Put on your head the diadem of the glory of the everlasting. For God will show you your splendor everywhere under heaven. For God will give you evermore the name righteous peace, godly glory. So arise, O Jerusalem, stand up upon the height. Look toward the east and see your children gathered from west and east at the word of the Holy One, rejoicing that God has remembered them. For they went out from you on foot, led away by their enemies, but God will bring you back. Carry in glory as on a royal throne. For God has ordered that every high mountain in the everlasting hills be made low, and the valleys filled up to make level ground, so that Israel may walk safely in the glory of God. The woods and every fragrant tree have shaded Israel at God's command, for God will lead Israel with joy and in the light of his glory with the mercy and righteousness that comes from him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. turn to you, show us your face, and we shall be saved. Lord, make us turn 
unto you, show us your face, and we shall be saved. Shepherd of Israel, hearken from your throne and shine forth, O rise your power and come to save us. Lord, make us turn to you, show us your face, and we shall be saved. We are your chosen vine, only by your care do we A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I thank God every time I remember you, constantly praying with joy in every one of my prayers for all of you. Because of your sharing in the gospel from that first day until now, I am confident of this, that the one who began the work among you will bring it to the completion by the day of Jesus Christ. For God is my witness, or how I long for all of you with the compassion of Jesus Christ. And this is my prayer, that your love may overflow more and more with knowledge and full insight to help you determine what is best so that the day of Christ you may be pure and blameless, having produced the harvest of righteousness that comes with Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. Alleluia, alleluia, amen, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Thank to you, you Lord. O Lord. In the fifteenth year of the reign of Emperor Tiberius, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, and Herod was ruler of Galilee, and his brother Philip, ruler of the region of Iturea and Trachonitis, and Lysanias, ruler of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went into all the region around the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, as it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. <coughs> every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways made smooth and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Three years ago, the music world lost a giant, jazz legend Dave Brubeck. He died the day before his 92nd birthday. You likely haven't heard of him, Yet he was the first jazz artist to sell a million records and was only the second one, after Louis Armstrong, to make the cover of Time magazine. He was also a man of faith. In 1980, Dave Brubeck was baptized into the Catholic Church. He didn't like to call himself a convert, since that implies that he converted from something, and he had no real religious background. But there was a kind of conversion at work in his life. And I think his decision to join the church echoes a theme in this Sunday's gospel. It's about hearing and listening and responding. 
It began when Brubeck was commissioned to write a mass made up entirely of jazz music, of all things. He thought it would be an interesting challenge. He worked on it for a few months. When it finally premiered, it was widely praised. A priest told the composer how much he liked the music, but he was puzzled by one thing. Why hadn't he included in the music the Lord's Prayer or the Our Father? Brubeck didn't even realize the oversight. He thought about revising the score, but decided against it. It was finished, and he thought anything he wrote would disrupt the musical structure. He decided to just let it go. But a few days later, something happened that made him change his mind. While on vacation with his family, Brubeck awoke in the middle of the night, astonished. The entire Our Father had come to him in a dream, complete with orchestra and chorus. He climbed out of bed, wrote it all out, and later added it to the score. Because of this event, he said, I decided that I might as well join the Catholic Church. Someone somewhere was pulling me toward that end. Advent reminds us we are all being pulled toward that end. All of us are being drawn to God. We are being called, called to follow. Called like Dave Brubeck to hear something unexpected. Called perhaps to revisit what we thought was finished and to add new music to our lives. In today's gospel, something like that happens to John the Baptist. The word of God came to John in the desert, St. Luke wrote. John went throughout the whole region of the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The first thing to note is that John the Baptist listened, and what he heard was the word of God, a word so overwhelming he couldn't keep it to himself and for himself. Like Dave Brubeck, John the Baptist, in a sense, heard a new music, and he had to transmit it to the world. The second Sunday of Advent, we might ask ourselves, what are we hearing? Are we letting God's message reach us? There's so much battling for our attention. Just turn on the computer or the TV or visit the shopping mall. But some of it may not be out there, but in here, within ourselves. The noise of our own worries, of deadlines, of obligations and expectations of ambitions and frustrations, and the daily grind of living or having to care for someone we care about. To all of this, Advent says, hush, listen. The word of God is coming to us. The word that is his gospel and the word that is the Son of God. Advent comes from the Latin word adventus, meaning coming. We are preparing ourselves for the coming of the Lord. In the liturgy, he comes as a child like he did 2,000 years ago. We hear this in the scriptures. But in our lives, we await his coming in glory. We will soon begin to prepare our houses and our parish churches with Christmas decorations if we haven't done so already, bringing joy and reminding us of the salvation that God promised us in the person of Jesus. And so we prepare which is why this season is so important. We need to make ourselves ready to receive what God is offering. John cries out, prepare the way of the Lord. Are we doing that? Or is John the Baptist's voice another one being lost in the din of the season? The call of Advent is a call to conversion, it proclaims the path to a different way of living. It points us toward a star and a manger and beyond that to the cross. It points ultimately to our salvation and to a hope that will never die. After he finally finished writing the entire musical score, Dave Brubeck gave his unique jazz mass a title. He called it To Hope. It's a title that has a beautiful ambiguity. To Hope can be a dedication, a toast, or even a verb. To hope is the Christian way of living. 
and in the vocabulary of this season, it is something more than that. It is a direction. Advent calls us to follow that direction, to look for signs, and to listen. The Word of God is pointing the way to life, to salvation, and yes, as Dave Brubeck knew, to hope. Let us now profess what it is that we believe. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray with hope and confidence as we await the return of the Lord. That we may be eager to share the good news with all those we encounter. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For the poor and the weak and the helpless, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For renewed commitment to peace and justice by all world leaders, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the infirm, and all those separated from their parish communities who join us today, that this Mass celebrated for them will bring comfort and joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us take a few moments and offer our own petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. Father of love, Hear the prayers that we, your children, offer in the name of Jesus, who lives forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed be God God forever. forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ. He humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash away my iniquities, O Lord, cleanse me from my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift lift them up up to the the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It It is is right right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, hosts, heaven heaven and earth earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim proclaim your death, O Lord, and and profess your your resurrection resurrection until you come come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom kingdom come, thy thy will be done on on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give Give us this day day our daily bread, and and forgive forgive us our trespasses, as we we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For For the the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power, and the glory glory are yours, yours, now and and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now take a moment to think of someone that requires our forgiveness and mercy, and let us offer them that in our heart. Lamb of God, you take take away away the the sins sins of the world, world. have Have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only only say say the the word, and my my soul soul shall be healed.
us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and, and, and the Holy, Holy spirit. spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Good morning and thank you for celebrating with us on this Sunday morning. A special word of thanks to Father Frank Portelli. Father Frank is the director of our youth ministry through the Archdiocese of Toronto. Our youth ministry is, takes into consideration young adults between 18 and 39 years old. So if you're interested in really becoming involved as a youth, you can speak to your pastor or call the number on the screen at the end of Mass to uh, get in touch with Frank Portelli. Until next week at this time, I want to thank you for your many letters of support, your financial support that helps us make the Mass possible. It's offered for your intention because you are our parish community. And so until next week, God bless you. Rest of our prayers, please pray for us. Make ready your home. Make ready the people of God. Make ready your heart. Make ready your home. Make ready the people of God. Make ready your heart. Make ready your home. Make ready the people of God. Prepare the